Hello everyone. In this video, we will try to understand what are the built-in input and output transformation that Apache Beam supports. So what I mean by built-in input and output is, so in ETL, as we discuss Apache Beam falls under the ETL, in ETL we have extraction and loading, you know, part, right? So from what are the sources you can extract the data and what are the sources you can write the data once you know the transformation is applied that's what i mean here so if you see python sdk right python supports file input output avro is one of the you know format it can support text file tf tensorflow tf records parquet parquet is one of the widely used file format i already made one video on this right that is really interesting format and you know it can read the data from s3 s3 is you know aws uh, blob storage and we have google cloud storage also so this is a file based right this are the this is the you know it, it, it supports and when you talk about the file systems it can support your local file system you can try to read the you know uh, the data from your local system it supports hadoop file system it support you know google cloud storage file systems right and when you talk about the streaming it support kafka right and pubsub google pubsub when you talk about the databases these are the couple of you know databases it supports which means you know it can read and write in any of this you know uh, mentioned uh, services when you see java sdk right if you compare the python sdk input output you know transformation java sdk right java sdk has lots of you know services right if you see you know the messaging right which is mainly meant for streaming when you see python it supports only two one is you know a kafka and pubsub but if you see java it had hell lot of things right you know kinesis aws kinesis amq kafka pubsub jms mqtt whatnot and even if you see the database it has a very big list right unfortunately for python you know we have less services but yes so in future there are you know many more services which is also coming in place right but in our in our upcoming videos we'll be using python to implement apache beam projects right so need not to worry let's say in, in for example in database we don't have postgres but yes there is an option where you can implement your own service that you know that you can read and write in postgres database or mysql anything which is not mentioned here there is a feasibility right that you can write your own input and output services and make use of it right so this is about this video hope you like it please don't forget to subscribe thank you